zero into all the values is zero. So minus two into one plus minus m into zero. Minus m into zero is zero. If you get only one artificial variable, so you can consider only one artificial variable in our objective function. It's satisfying the optimality condition because I have zero and negative value. Element is three. So using this key row and non-key row, we can find the new value. Welcome back my dear students, I am Shweta, Computer Science Faculty, Vidyashram First State College, Mysore. In my last session, I have given the introduction about Big M method. I have discussed the algorithm on Big M method and I have explained about the steps in Big M method. So today I will explain the problem on Big M method. So how to solve this Big M method problem? It is very important question. You can expect this question for 8 marks. So today I will explain this big M method. So my dear students, definitely there will be a problem on simplex method, big M method or two-phase method. You can expect any one question on this topic. So dear students, if you know the concept of simplex method, easily you can solve big M method and two-phase method also. Please first practice the simplex method problem, then easily you can solve this big M method also. So I will explain with an example. So we have objective function and constraints. You just observe this. So all the objective function should be maximization. So this problem is on maximization type. So next I will see the constraints. So here we have three constraints. So first constraint is equal type. So if it is equal type means we have to add only the artificial variable. Listen carefully, if you have only equal type constraint, you have to add only the artificial variable. And next constraint is greater than or equal to type. So 4x plus 3y minus s1. Why it is minus s1? If you have greater than or equal to type, we have to subtract the surplus variable with artificial variable. Subtract the surplus variable plus add artificial variable. So artificial variable, first artificial variable I have added in first constraint. And now I am adding the second artificial variable, this A2. So first surplus variable is S1 minus S1 plus second artificial variable for second constraint is A2 is equal to 6. And the third constraint is less than or equal to type. Less than or equal to type means only you have to add the slack variable. So x plus 2y plus s2. So first I have subtracted one surplus variable. So now I am adding the slack variable. So it is s2 is equal to 4. For less than or equal to constraint. I am adding the slack variable. For greater than or equal to constraint, I am subtracting the surplus variable with artificial variable. And if it is equal type, so I am adding the artificial variable. So this is the basic things you have to learn while doing the big M method. So next I will write this objective function in standard form. Max z is equal to minus 2x minus y. I have two S1 and S2, surplus variable and slack variable. So 0S1 plus 0S2. And we have two artificial variable called A1 and A2. Here I have two artificial variable called A1 and A2. So coefficient is minus m for A1 and coefficient is minus m for A2. So this is, now this is in a standard form. So max z is equal to minus 2x minus y and we have 2 s1 s2. So that is slack variable and surplus variable. So coefficient is always 0 and 0 only. 0 s1 plus 0 s2 and in big M method, you have to add minus m with artificial variable a1 and a2. So minus m a1 minus m a2. Sometimes 
if you get only one artificial variable so you can consider only one artificial variable in objective function so artificial variable with artificial variable i have subtracted minus m and minus m big m method so this is now in a standard form so these all are in standard form so now i can proceed so first is initial simplex table so already i have explained so many problems in simplex method same method we are using here all the simplex table method and iteration 1 iteration 2 everything is same in big m method but the standard form whatever i have written here that is little bit different in big m method we are subtracting the surplus variable and in big m method we are subtracting minus m and minus m with artificial variable first write all the basic variables x y s1 s2 and a1 a2 so this is my basic variables and coefficient of x is minus 2 minus 1 0 0 and coefficient of a1 is minus m and minus m so this is very important step just write the basic variables and coefficient of basic variables so here you just observe this i am writing a1 a2 and s2 why i have added s2 here a1 a2 means artificial variable we have to mention in big m method that is very important so here also i have mentioned the artificial variable a1 and a2 so i will write a1 a2 as a artificial variable so what is the coefficient of a1 and a2 minus m and minus m this is common in all the problems and here i have added s2 also why it is s2 only slack variables have to mention only slack variable you are not supposed to mention the surplus variable as your basic variable so here i am adding only the slack variable because in surplus variable we have negative sign so you are not supposed to add the surplus variable i am adding only the slack variable so slack variable is in third constraint so the value is s2 if you get s1 you can write s1 so after this artificial variable you can add this slack variables so now in equation number 1 we have some coefficient of x y and a1 so a coefficient of x is 3 and 1 0 0 a1 is there so it is 1 a2 is not there it is 0 solution is 3 we have to find the ratio and in second equation we have 4 3 and minus s1 so s1 is minus 1 s2 is not there and a2 is a1 is 0 a2 is 1 with solution is 6 and in third constraint 1 2 s2 is 1 s1 is not there a1 is not there a2 is not there the solution is 4 so this is very important step if you missed any one coefficient here so your problem is wrong so you just observe this carefully please write all the coefficient of x y and coefficient of a1 a2 and s1 s2 so this is very important steps and after this you can find zj value how to find the zj value so minus m into 3 plus minus m into 4 so minus m into 3 is Minus three m plus minus m into four is minus four m and zero into any value is zero only. So minus m three plus minus m four minus three m minus four m is minus seven m and minus m plus minus three m minus one and minus three m is minus four m. Minus m into zero is zero. And minus m into minus one, it is plus m. And minus m into zero, zero is zero. And minus m into one is, it is zero minus m. And minus m into zero is zero. Minus m into one is minus m. And solution value minus m into three, it is minus three m minus six m. So it is minus nine m. So now we can find C J minus Z J. So C J minus Z J minus two. 
minus of minus 7 m minus 2 minus of minus 7 m is equal to minus 2 plus 7 m minus 2 plus 7 m and minus 1 minus 4 m minus 1 minus of minus 4 m this minus 1 plus 4 m minus 1 plus 4 m and 0 minus m minus m 0 minus 0 0 minus m minus of minus m is plus m minus m plus m means it is 0 minus m minus of minus m it is 0. So now you can check whether this value is satisfying the optimality condition or not. So what is the rule? For maximization problem all the Cj minus Zj value should be less than or equal to 0. Less than or equal to 0 means all the value should be negative. Here you can observe this m value is positive. So this 7m and 4m is positive all the m value should be negative then it can satisfy the optimality condition. This value you can also written as 7m minus 2 and 4m minus 1. So you just observe this is this positive or negative value? It is positive value it is also positive value it is not satisfying the optimality condition and here we have minus m 0 0 and 0 but we have two positive values so we can move further we can find the next iteration iteration number one so before that you have to find the maximum value out of these two values so maximum value is 7m minus 2 4m minus 1 is less than 7m minus 2 7m minus 2 is the maximum value highest positive value is 7m minus 2. This comes under the column called x. So, this is the key column is x. This is my key column. And now you can find the ratio. So, 3 by 3. Solution by key column. 3 by 3 is equal to 1. And 6 by 4 is 3 by 2. And 4 by 1 is equal to 4. So now you can find out this 2 by 3 by 2 is 1.5 right. So out of these three value which is the least positive value is 1. This 1 comes under the row called A1. So A1 is my key row because in ratio I got least positive value is 1. So 1 comes under A1. So this is my key row. So, key row means it is a1, it is living variable. So, a1 is my living variable. And key column is x. So, x is my entering variable. So, living variable is a1, entering variable is x. So, key element is 3. 3 is my key element because common for both key row and key column. So, 3 is key element. Key element or pivot element is equal to 3. So, now in first iteration you can replace this a1 by x. So, in place of a1 I will add this x and also I will delete this a1 variable. Also, I will delete this artificial variable 1, it is a1, I will delete this a1 and I will add the entering variable called x. So, simultaneously I will delete this a1 column also. So, here I am deleting this living variable, a1 is my living variable. So, in place of a1 I will add x. So, simultaneously I will delete this column a1 also. I am deleting both a1 row and a1 column. So, this is your big M method technique. So, simultaneously you can delete artificial variable row and artificial variable column. I am deleting this A1 row and as well as A1 column. So, this is your big M method technique. So, in first iteration, iteration number 1, 
I am deleting this A1 row and A1 column. So, for getting the optimality conditions, so in every step we can delete this artificial variable. So, next step is iteration 1. So, in the first iteration, first write all the coefficient values minus 1 and we have 0, 0 and I am deleting the first artificial variable, I am adding one artificial variable, coefficient is minus m. So, x, y, s1, s2 and a2 because I have deleted this a1 column, coefficient is minus m, I am adding only this artificial variable 2 and in place of a1, I am adding x, x, a2, s2, x, a2 and S2. So, coefficient of X2 is minus 2, coefficient of A2 is minus M, coefficient of S2 is 0. And now, key element is 3. So, using this key row and non-key row, we can find the new value. You just list all the key rows 3, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 3. 3, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 3. So, key element is equal to 3. So, what is the formula for finding key row? Old value divided by key element. Old value is 3, key element is 3. Just 1. Old value is 1, key element is 3. 1 by 3. And 0 by 3 is 0. 0 by 3 is 0. 1 by 3, 0 by 3 is 0. 3 by 3 is 1. So, in place of Non-key row, in place of key rows, I will write the new values 1, 1 by 3, 0, 0, 1 by 3. Here I have to find new values using old values. So, I have deleted this column. Next, I am finding the new values. So, key rows are 3, 1, 0, 0, 0, 3. 3, 1, 0, 0, 0, 3. So, old value is 3, key element is 3. How to find key row? Key row is equal to old value divided by key element. Old value is 3, key element is 3, it is 1. And 1 by 3, 0, 0, 0, 3 by 3 is 1. So, 1, 1 by 3, 0, 0, 0 and solution value is 1. And this is second non-key row. Now, this is key row, this is non-key row. We have two non-key rows. We have to find the new values using old values. So, first old value is 4 and corresponding key column also 4 and key row is 3. I will repeat, old value is 4. Corresponding key column also 4. Key column is common for all the values and corresponding key row is, this is key row, 3. So, old value is 4 minus 4 into 3 by 3. 4 minus 4 into 3 by 3. 3, 3 get cancelled. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. And old value is 3. Corresponding key column is 4. Corresponding key row is 1. So, 3 minus 4 into 1 by 3. So, you will get 5 by 3. Please find out the values. And old value is minus 1. Corresponding key column is 4. Key row is 0. So, minus 1 minus 4 into 0 by 3. It is minus 1. Old value is 0. Corresponding key column 4. And corresponding key row is 0 by 3. Answer is 0. Again, you can find the new value. Old value is 1. Corresponding key column 1. Key row is 0. So, answer is 1. And old value is 6. Key column is 4. Key row is 3. You will get 2. And next non-key rows. 1, 2, 0, 1, 0, 4. 1, 2, 0, 1, 0, 4 is your non-key row. And you can find the new value. So, old value is 1. Corresponding key column also 1. Key column is common for all the values and key row is 4. So, you will get, so you will get 0. And old value is 2, corresponding key column 1, key row is 3. By key element is 3. 
you will get so value is 5 by 3 again and old value is 0 corresponding key column 1 key row is minus 1 answer is 0 old value is 1 corresponding key column 1 key row is 0 divided by key element 3 so answer is 1 and old value is 0 corresponding key column 1 key row is 1 answer is 0 and old value is 4 corresponding key column 1 key row is 6 divided by k element 3. So, we will get 3. So, now we can find zj. 0 into all the values is 0. So, minus 2 into 1 plus minus m into 0. Minus m into 0 is 0. So, minus 2 into 1 is minus 2. And minus 2 into 1 by 3 is minus 2 by 3 minus minus 5 by 3. So, minus minus into 1 by 3 is minus 2 by 3 minus 5m by 3. So, LCM is 3 minus 2 minus 5m by 3 minus 2 minus 5m by 3 and minus 2 into 0 is minus 2 and minus m into minus 1 is plus m and minus 2 into 0, 0 minus m into 0, 0 and minus 2 into 0, 0 minus m into 1 is minus m and minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 minus m into 2 is minus 2 m this is minus 2 minus 2 m. So, now you can find cj minus zj minus 2 minus of minus 2 is plus 2 just 0 and minus 1 minus 1 minus minus 2 into minus 5 m by 3. You can take the LCM minus 3 minus minus 2 minus 5 m by 3. So, minus 3 minus of minus into minus plus 2 minus into minus plus 5 m by 3. So, you will get minus 1 plus 5 m by 3. So, minus 1 plus 5 m by 3 and 0 minus m is minus m 0 minus 0 minus m minus of plus m so minus m plus m is 0 so now you can cross verify this this minus 1 plus pi m by 3 also i can return as pi m minus 1 by 3 but the m value is positive only so again we have to move forward so this is not satisfying the optimality condition it is not satisfying the optimality condition means we can move further so again we have to find the next iteration so here the maximum value is 5m minus 1 by 3 so it comes under the column y so y is my key column so this is my key column and we can find the ratio 1 divided by 1 by 3, 1 divided by 1 by 3, it is 3, 2 divided by 5 by 3, so it is 6 by 5 and 3 divided by 5 by 3, 5 by 3, it is 9 by 5. So here you can find the fraction, five, 6 by 5 is 1 by 2. So, least positive value is 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 comes under this row. So, 1 by 2 comes under A2 row. So, A2 is my living variable. So, A2 is living variable and Y is my entering variable. Y is entering variable. You just observe this. In first iteration, I have deleted A1 because so A1 was the first living variable. So I have deleted A1 row and A1 column also. But here I am deleting this A2 row because key row is A2 that is living variable. So living variable is A2. So simultaneously I will delete this A2 column also. So, I have deleted both the variables a1 and a2. So, definitely in the next iteration, you will get the optimality solution. So, now 
again write the objective function minus 1 and it is 0 and 0 because a1, a2 have deleted then x, y, s1, s2 solution and ratio. So here in place of a2 I will write it is y. So x, y, s2, x, y and s2, s2 variable is value is 0 and x value is minus 2, y value is minus 1, coefficient of coefficient of x and y. So now key element, what is the key element? Key element is 5 by 3. So key element is 5 by 3. So this is my second iteration. So key element is 5 by 3. Just list all the key row values. Key row values are 0, 5 by 3, minus 1, 0, 2. 0, 5 by 3, minus 1, 0, 2. Just find the new key row values. So 0 by 5 by 3 is 0. And 5 by 3 divided by 5 by 3 is 1. And minus 1 by 5 by 3 is equal to minus 3 by 5. And 0 by 5 by 3 is 0 and 2 by 5 by 3 is 6 by 5. So now we can find the non-key row values. So 1, 1 by 3, 0, 0, 1. So here the old value is 1. Listen carefully. Old value is 1. Corresponding key column is 1 by 3. So 1 by is common for all the values in first non-key row. Old value is 1, corresponding key column is 1, corresponding key row is 0. So the answer is 1. And old value is 1 by 3, corresponding key column also 1 by 3, key row is 5 by 3. So answer is 0. And old value is 0, corresponding key column 1 by 3, key row is minus 1. So answer is 1 by 5. And Old value is 0, corresponding key column 1 by 3, key row is 0, answer is 0. And old value is 1, corresponding key column 1 by 3, corresponding key row is 2, answer is 3 by 5. And the last non-key rows are 0, old value, corresponding key column is 5 by 3 and key row is 0. So, you will get 0. And old value is 5 by 3, corresponding key column also 5 by 3 and corresponding key row is 5 by 3. So, it is also 0. And old value is 0, corresponding key column is 5 by 3, key row is minus 1. So, it is 1. Old value is 1, corresponding key column 5 by 3 and row is 0. Answer is 0. And old value is 3, corresponding key column is 5 by 3, key row is 2, answer is 1. So here we got the new values, using this we can find the zj value, minus 2 into 1 plus minus 1 into 0. So minus 1 into 0 means it is 0, 0 into 0 is 0, so value is minus 2. And minus 2 into 0 is 0, minus 1 into minus 1, minus 1. And minus 2 into 1 by 5 minus 2 into 1 by 5 minus of minus 3 by 5 minus 2 by 5 plus 3 by 5 it is 1 by 5 and 2 into 0 0 minus 1 into 0 0 and minus 2 into 3 by 5 minus 1 into 6 by 5 minus 6 by 5, minus 6 by 5, minus 6 by 5, minus 6 by 5 is minus 12 by 5. Now, we can subtract the Cj minus Zj, minus 2 minus of minus 2, plus 2, minus, of, minus 2 plus 2 is 0. And minus 1 minus of minus 1, it is plus 1, it is 0. 0 minus 1 by 5, it is minus 1 by 5. 0 minus 0, 0. So now it's satisfying the optimality condition because I have 0 and 
negative value. So if it is negative value means it is satisfying the optimality condition. The maximum value is max z is equal to minus 12 by 5. So what is the value of x? x is equal to 3 by 5 and value of y is 6 by 5. So now you can substitute this value for cross checking the optimality condition. So max z is equal to max z is minus 12 by 5 is equal to 2 into 3 by 5 minus 6 by 5. So 3 into 2 is minus 6 by 5 minus 6 by 5 you will get minus 12 by 5. This is your RHS value. LHS is equal to RHS. So it is satisfying the optimality condition as feasible solution. So this is about your big M method. So if you know the concept of simplex easily you can solve this big M method also. But here you have to use for converting the inequality into equality you have to subtract the surplus variable with artificial variable for greater than or equal to sign. And if you have equal sign you have to add only the artificial variable. And if you have less than or equal to sign you have to add only the slack variables for your constraint. So this is about your big M method. In my next session I will come with another examples. Thank you.